What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and we are rolling along with the Arkham Asylum Series 1 action figure reviews. Uh, this is my review of the Harley Quinn figure. This is uh, the re-release from DC Collectibles uh, of Series 1, which is very nicely done. And uh, well, technically, it's a Series 2, Series 1 combination, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. But... Uh, yeah, because it doesn't include the Series 1 Batman, but they all look really cool. Here's the other figures in the wave, which is the Joker, Scarecrow, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, and Armored Batman. So, pretty sure I said that twice already, so. <laughs> but uh, Harley Quinn, this is the Harley Quinn to get, in my, my opinion. I completely agree with Electric Detonator. This is the much better Harley Quinn than the Arkham City look. Uh, I'm not really, I wasn't really a big fan of that look either. Um, I like this look is much better. So anyways, with that being said, let's get Harley Quinn out of package and take a closer look at Miss Quinzel. Mr. J. <laughs> What's going on? We have uh, <laughs> Harley Quinn out of package. And uh, she's really cool. I definitely dig this look for Harley. She's, uh, you know, she's, she's <laughs> she, she, she loves her corsets. I'll give her that. She definitely does does love her corsets. But um, she definitely does look really nice. Definitely digging this look for her over the Arkham City, like I said in the beginning of the review. And uh, she does come with some cool accessories. Her accessories are her nice little... Uh, walking stick or staff or whatever you want to call this cane there you go and she also comes with this gun and I'm not sure I forgot I think I think this has the Titan drug in it um, I could be mistaken though so I, I'm not 100% sure on that it does look like the Titan drug I don't know maybe not So there you go, and she does hold it. She does hold it okay, not the best, but I mean, she definitely has a trigger finger, and she's supposed to hold it this uh, kind of like barber shop look outward, I guess, because that's the, there's the hole right there, and obviously the trigger points outward, trigger guard, I should say. Kicker guard, trigger guard, kicker guard. Who's Anthony? Who's Anthony? Who's Anthony? Let me know in the comments below if you know what that's from. <laughs> he's, he's the drama of my bond. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, she does look really cool, and she um, she's actually more articulated than I thought she was going to be. Um, I thought she was going to be similar towards uh, Poison Ivy, but she's got way more articulation than Poison Ivy does. So, With that being said, let's get to her, art her articulation. Her head does move side to side. It uh, doesn't really move up or down, so don't force it. Her arms do move up about that far. They move down. They can do a full 360. Actually, her arms move up about that far. Excuse me. Her, I guess her hinge was a little stiff. Um, she does have a bicep swivel, a single bend at the elbow, a wrist rotation. Uh, no ab crunch or anything like that. Uh, no diaphragm joint or waist swivel. Um, her legs do go up about that far, and they go back. Pretty nice. Uh, she does not have an upper thigh swivel. I thought she did for a second. Nope. Uh, she doesn't have a any type of swivel in the leg. She does have a single bend at the knee, and that's pretty much it. So much much better articulation than I thought she was going to have. So that's a nice surprise. And her her skirt is separately articulated, if you want to call it that. Separate piece. There you go. So that's pretty cool that they, that they did that also. Um, she does have a really cool look to her. Let me just uh, get in on the face sculpt here. The hair's done pretty well. Oh, and the hair is also articulated, I believe. Or not. There's a big glob of, I don't know what that is. Use her cane to figure that out. I don't know what's going on there. But I think her hair is supposed to be separately articulated. I'm not going to mess with it. it. With my luck, it'll just snap right off. And I haven't had good luck lately with action figures, <laughs> so I'm just not going to mess with that. But, um, yeah, her face sculpt is very well done. Her hair, I like the detail in her hair. Looks pretty cool. 
And on her, sorry, I'm not trying to zoom in on her boob, but it does say Warden on it, which is a nice touch. So there you go. There's also a a, a cleavage shot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she does look really cool. I'm definitely digging this look for her. Um, her her um, fishnet stockings are actually cloth, which is a nice touch. I was actually expecting um, painted fishnets, but uh, they are cloth, which is nice. And she does hold everything pretty well. Let me just get back to that, because, you know, God forbid I haven't said it enough. And there we go. Probably going to pose her with her hand up like this with the gun. Maybe have her like this. No, have it out. There you go. So there you go. There's Harley Quinn. Definitely going to recommend her. Um, I think she might be one of my favorites in the line, to be honest with you. She's definitely one of my favorite figures in the line. She looks very pretty. The face is done really well. I think it's a very pretty face. Looks good. I think it's a better better face than um, Poison Ivy, to be honest with you. And, um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. If I had to rate this figure, I'm probably going to give it an 8.5. I think it's very well done. You know, there's no loose joints on this. Uh, I'm really digging the detail all throughout, everywhere. It looks good. And, um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Do you agree, like, dislike, rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys on the flip side.